right. Yes, thank you. Aren't you a bit hot? <laughs> no. is uh, how we dress in Pakistani saunas. <laughs> I didn't know saunas were a thing in Pakistan. Oh, yes. We've got the biggest sauna in the world. It's called Karachi. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking for someone? A snorty posh man. <laughs> Take your pick. Hmm? This place is full of uppity members. <laughs> you can say that again. You seem fairly normal. Normal for Birmingham, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but my money's just as good as theirs. And I've got a lot more of it. What line of business are you in? Taxi driver. <laughs> you sound like a Pakistani. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I say driver, I've got my own private hire firm. Executive chauffeurs. Oh? They're all Mercedes. Wow. <laughs> Andy Rogers, <laughs> pleased to meet you. Hang on. You're Mr. Scabby, eh? I'm Mr. Khan, Alia's daddy. Ha! Fancy meeting you, here. Yeah. I know. Ah, she's a lovely girl, oh, Alia. Yeah. yeah, we always wondered why we haven't met her parents. You know, we thought maybe you Hello, be... sir. <laughs> This is Mr. Scabby. <gasps> the racialist. What? I'm dead. No, no. It's okay, sir. Leave this to me. Who do you think you are? Looking down your nose at us. I'm dead, you silly. What are you talking about? You said he was a snooty racist? <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't. I really did. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. Don't you remember? We're going to give him a piece of our minds. I don't know what he's talking about. Shh. We're Pakistani. If you don't want us, we don't want you. And you can stick your hoity-toity country club right Oops. up your foot fingers. Well, maybe I should be going. No, wait. It's all been a misunderstanding. Whatever you say. Oh, Tony. <laughs> Are you hot, sir? Go so hot. They got the blooming central eating turned up. <laughs> Here we are. Get stuck into that. <laughs> Cheers. 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 <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> It's Pakistani champagne. Mm, it tastes more like a liqueur, doesn't it, Anne? It does. It tastes more like a liqueur. <laughs> it's a Pakistani champagne liqueur. <laughs> oh, it's gone straight to my head. Mm. Reminds me of being on holiday, all them fancy drinks you get out there. What's that stuff we drink in Marb's and? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, that's what happens if you drink too much of it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we, babes? We do. We love Marbs. Oh, we love it too. Have you been there for your holiday? Oh, yes. We love going to Marbs, don't we, babes? <laughs> babes. I thought you'd more likely be down the mosque. What's a mosque? <laughs> Imagined. They're not at all like we imagined, are they? No, you're not at all like we imagined. We're not at all like they imagined. <laughs> you know, I've been reading up about your Islam, and you're very big on charity, aren't you? Oh, yes. It's one of the five pillars. And Susan and I, well, we got a lot of money, haven't we? We have got a lot of money. And we were thinking one day we might give it all to charity. No! <laughs> Let's not forget the little known sixth pillar of Islam, huh? <laughs> Those that shall have loads of money! <laughs> Shh! 
shall give it unto the kinneth and also unto the in-laws. <laughs> Would you like another drink? Good idea. Uh, no, thanks, Mrs. K. <laughs> Hiya. Oh, Scabby! What's going on? Oh, hey, Scabby, your mummy and daddy have come round. Well, if they've done, I'm so sorry. Uh oh, and he's got his little sulky face on. Uh, he's never liked us meeting his friends. He thinks we're embarrassing. There's no need to be embarrassed about your parents. We think they're great. Oh, that's so nice. We think you're great too, don't we, Anne? We do. We think you're great. <laughs> you see? We're one big happy family. Well, actually, that is pretty good news because there is something I've been meaning to ask you for quite a while now. Yeah? <laughs> now, I know I'm not exactly the son-in-law you were <laughs> expecting, but I was hoping to get your permission to ask Alia to marry me. I do! <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, yes, I mean, uh, of course. Oh, my God. I knew it. I knew he was going to propose. Oh, she's got a sixth sense when it comes to romance. What if she doesn't want to get married? Oh, she does. She does want to. She told me. Really? Only because I have actually been carrying around this ring for a very long time now, and it just never quite seems to be the right moment. Hey, Scabby. Now is the right moment. <laughs> oh, don't she look lovely? You can see where she gets her looks from. Thank you. <laughs> Shazia looks more like a mother. <laughs> Alia, Betty, Scabby has something he'd like to ask you. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask this for a long time now. I was just wondering... Alia... Will you marry me? No? <laughs> Would you excuse me a moment? <laughs> Somewhere. Here, what's this? Oh. There we are. I told you everything will be all right. We'll be in Bonnie Scotland before you know it, eating bagpipes and playing the haggises. Have some chai, Nanny. Nay, we have to keep you hydrated. We don't want a too hydrated, sweetie. It's a long journey. <laughs> We've got to phone the university to tell them we might be running late. And I need to phone Mrs. Malik. I want to check she's not filling little mole full of biscuits. It's okay, Laddu. Mummy doesn't share biscuits. <laughs> I can't get a signal. Have you got a signal, Buddu? Shh. I think there's a Pidgey in one of these crates. What the flip's a Pidgey? He's playing Pokemon Go. Him and little mole are obsessed with it. It beats loads of other Pokemon characters. A Pidgey can even beat a Ghastly. <laughs> Which one of them beats a Nanny? <laughs> wow. Look at this. What is it, Buddu? I think it's the new iPhone. <laughs> it's not an iPhone, you idiot. That's a calculator. Remember when Alia had her lucky calculator and her lucky pencil case and her lucky hijab? She had to have all her lucky things with her for every exam. So why did she fail them all so many times? She was just unlucky. <laughs> yeah. What does E stand for? I think it's short for excellent. Oh, she's got E's? No, only one E. The rest are U's. What's that? Unbelievably good. I don't know if I'll fit in here, Papaji. Alia, we are just as good as anyone else. You hold your head high. Be proud of who you are. But I thought this place was only for Catholics. <laughs> what? Anscombe College is a Catholic school. <laughs> <laughs> Alia, why didn't you take off your coat? It's very warm in here. 
and maybe take off some of this shiny stuff from hijab, eh? We don't want to seem too flashy. <laughs> Very good. Well done, Alia. What a girl. Second to none, jeez. I hope you are going to come and visit me when I'm in Glasgow. Of course we will, sis. And you can come and stay with us in the holidays. There'll be plenty of room now we're getting the loft done. Can you afford that? Dad's lending us the money, aren't you, Dad? That reminds me. I can't lend you the money. Why not? I spent it on Alia's university. You spent our loft money on Alia? It's not my fault. If Alia had failed her exams like we thought she was going to, she wouldn't be going to university. So, technically, it's her fault. Why didn't you tell me before? I'd have borrowed the money from the bank and done it last year. But, oh! Oh! Don't borrow from the bank, you said. Always borrow from family. Oh, it's so much better! <laughs> Doesn't sound anything like me. This is so typical, putting Alia first. You always liked her more than me. Nonsense. I've always treated you both exactly the same. I love this girl. <laughs> She's a blooming marvel. Almost like a son she is. Alia wants to use Nanny's photo shoot to get loads of pictures of herself. Good idea. We can't get enough pictures of the beautiful daughter. Thanks, Papa G. But I want to get some of just me, Umja, then baby Mo. Or lying on the floor, in a line, with our legs in the air. I think you look nice. I think you look like chickens in a halal butcher's window. <laughs> My grandmother wants to know if there's any record of her father here. Eldest daughter. Just ignore her. That's what I do. <laughs> ah, Alia. Good daughter. This one's very clever. Always studying. Loves her history and so forth. Yes? There's no Wi-Fi in here. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Probably going to do a homework, huh? <laughs> you know, for once, I need to put Alia first. Mom. No, your father's right, Bitty. Am I? Blimey! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm writing it down. 23rd of September, 2016, Mrs. Khan says Mr. Khan is right. <laughs> Shazia, your sister's done very well to get onto her business and management course. Wait a minute. This doesn't say business and management. Alia? Why doesn't it say business and management? Maybe they spelled it wrong. Alia. <laughs> OK, so when I actually looked at the prospectus, it was, like, so boring. The first half was business, this, business, that. I don't even know what the second half was about. Management. <laughs> Whatever. Did you know about this? I might have heard something about it. And when were you planning to tell me? Now. <laughs> OK. So, if you're not doing business and management, what are you doing? Sustainable beauty therapy and geography. <laughs> wow. That sounds amazing. What kind of job is she going to get with beauty therapy and geography? Mobile hairdresser. <laughs> She's done it again. She always lies to you and you always fall for it. Rubbish. Alia, tell me the truth. Have you ever lied to me? No. See? I want a word with you. Oh, hello, sweetie. When were you going to tell me about this? Ah, now, about those pictures. See, I thought Miss Bom Bom was a Vietnamese restaurant. <laughs> I was going to take you out for a meal. <laughs> I'm talking about this email from your sister. Oh, yes, that. <clears throat> Who's Miss Bum Bum? I don't know. Uh, what email? She sent an email last month saying she wants your niece, Shabana, to come and stay. Right. But we can't have your niece to stay. It's too disruptive. And we haven't got the space. But I thought you could have Alia's bedroom now that she's at university. No. Anyway, I'm busy at work and there's no one here to look after. Of course, I understand. So you'll reply then? I already replied. Oh, what did you tell her? I said it's okay. <laughs> 
it. Dad, you can't do things like that. Idiot. <laughs> Look, it's the school holidays and her mother's gone to Pakistan. You mean she's disappeared on one of her shopping trips again? Your sister's never taken responsibility for that girl. She's always palming her off on someone and now it's our turn. That's not true, sweetie. She's a very caring and generous person. Is she paying you to look after Shabana? <laughs> it's not payment. It's just room and boarding at special discount rate. <laughs> oh, my God! Why? Now, I... wait a minute. All right, my sister's a little bit difficult, but could I really turn Shabana away? Our niece? Your cousin? And whatever she is to you? <laughs> You're right, I'm sorry. That's OK. When's she arriving? What's the date? 23rd. Today. <laughs> well, you'll have to look after her today because we are all going to support Shazia and women in Islam. Oh, not you two. Look, what's the problem? She stayed with us before and she was very quiet. That was 10 years ago. I know. I took her and Arleer on the steam railway to Hlandudno. <laughs> you forgot about her and left her on the train. I told you she was very quiet. <laughs> Look, she'll be no trouble. Shabana is a very sweet, innocent little girl. Here she is. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. You remember me? It's Uncle Mr. Khan. Oh, I remember you all right. That's nice. And your auntie? Hello, Betty. And Nani? No way. I thought you were dead. <laughs> We've all thought that about her at some point, haven't we? <laughs> oh, and here's your cousin Shazia. And Amjad. Have I got something on my face? No. Apart from the massive bits of metal. <laughs> Calm down, mate. Oh, my God. You've defaced her forever with this hideous monstrosity. <laughs> it looks lovely on you, though. <laughs> right, young lady. What do you think you're playing at? I suppose it was you that put the helium in the bouncy mosque. Everyone was laughing at me, you know. You made me look like a complete idiot. I'm not used to that. Really? <laughs> well, you see me now. I'm alive. You can go. Don't you want to talk or anything? You don't want to talk to me. Yes, I do. I don't mind talking. Really? About what? Anything. Anything at all. <laughs> OK. Mm -hmm. So... I think maybe I'm bisexual. Same here. I'm bisexual too. You're bisexual? Yes. Twice a year. Regular as clockwork. That's not what bisexual means. Isn't it? Bisexual means you're attracted to both sexes. Well, that's good. I'm glad we had this chat. See? I knew it. No one's interested in me. I'm just an inconvenience, an embarrassment, and I didn't no, even want to go... Shh, shh, no, you're not. It's a lamb alaikum. <laughs> it's fine. Hmm? I get it. No one wants to be around me. Of course they do. Really? My mum doesn't want me. Yes, she does. <laughs> She's just misunderstood. Like me, I'm always being misunderstood. It's a Khan family threat. I don't understand. See? My whole life, she's never been interested in me. She just swans off to Pakistan for months at a time and palms me off on the neighbours. Obviously, I'm so unbearable that no one would ever want to spend any time with me unless they were being paid for it. That's not true. I want to spend time with you. Are you being paid? Maybe. Just go. I'm not your responsibility. But your family. I don't have a family. Yes, you do. We're your family, and we care about you very much. Ever since you were a little girl. When you lost me. But I found you again. 
at the lost property office at Swansea Station. I came back for you, didn't I? Like I did today. I'll always come and find you. Now, come on. Why don't you come home, huh? Nanny's making some food. I mean, it won't be very nice, but it'll cheer her up if we eat it, and she needs cheering up because she'll be dead soon. OK. Good girl. Are you sure the rest of the family won't mind? I mean, I said some pretty mean things. Don't be silly. The Khan family motto, forgive and forget. Huh? Let's tell them. Thank you. <laughs>